All right, here's a simple little box house. I'm going to go over to the uh, uh, window tools. Now I've got mine set up, my toolbar set up differently from, than they are from the default. You get your child icons over here when you click on the main uh, tool icon. It's just a preference. So I'm going to choose that one, put it in there. Now, I will agree with you that uh, the, this uh, box bay window tool is kind of uh, limited in what it, in how it's programmed. But you can get quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff done. I'm going to turn off some of this garbage, uh, graphic garbage, and go over to display options and turn off roof labels and these other roof things. I don't need need the roof showing in in, in plan view. I don't think that'll help. I'm going to turn off uh, window labels. Get the W key, go to the W's, and turn off labels. Yeah. And we'll turn off living area. That's over in plan default. We'll double click there and turn off show living area. Okay. And there's the automatic dimensions. Now we'll open the dialog here of this uh, window object and we'll set it to uh, use existing roof and we'll change what well, you said 35 degrees 35 degrees okay now where it's kind of intractable you can't change the uh, at least in the next version of home designer I believe you'll be able to alter the wall type right now in in, in this version and all past versions, you couldn't alter the wall type of a bay window. And I think that'll probably help out in terms of uh, being relationally correct with bay windows. Currently, the bay window tool just picks up the same wall type as you place it in. Well, let's take a look at this in a camera view. Oh, I see what... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what you were getting or something like that. Well, good. Maybe we'll both both learn something here. I hit Shift F6 to split the screens. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Well, the in Pro, whenever the automatic tools fail, as they just just now have, <laughs> I'm going to go over to the Plan View screen, go to uh, Roof Tools, and double click, and turn off Auto Rebuild Roofs. I mentioned in my earlier. Uh, paragraph that you know there's a lot of automaticity built into uh, this software and it's a damn complicated piece of stuff and sometimes it just doesn't work in all cases and obviously it didn't work in this case we'll get rid of these roof planes because they're goofy I'm just clicking on them and deleting them and uh, over here we'll turn roof planes back on that's over in uh, display options where did it go where did you go display options well, I guess it's under tools yeah I couldn't find the icon so we'll just go over it this way and I want to turn rook plane back on in the plan view so we'll hit the R key to go to the R's and there's rook planes don't I don't think I need baselines on so we'll just leave that off okay and it's under the roof but let's say it wasn't you could just manually click on the roof plane and use the brake line tool and put some brakes in the uh, edge of the roof plane and then extend the roof plane down if you wanted. I don't know exactly what you intend if you wanted to parallel these to this. Uh, now that might, let's see, now that was 35 degrees, right? I'm going to click on this line here, open the dialog box, and go to the selected line tab. There's the angle. We want that at uh, the 35 degrees. Eh, that didn't work. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. We'll put in minus 35 degrees. Selected line tab. Uh, minus come minus 35. <laughs> I'm not having very good luck with that. Okay. I should have studied there. We'll just uh, do it that way. 
<clears throat> Tell you what, we'll draw a CAD line. And I'm going to set it to minus 35 degrees. There's always some way to do this sort of thing. Then we'll, now with that CAD line there, I can click on this and parallel it to that CAD line. There we go. And then uh, this edge here, I'll use that CAD line as well. Okay, you get the idea. Well, that doesn't look right. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get into a lot of complication. Well, let's see. Let's flip this CAD line around. So you can't parallel to that wall because the wall is virtual. Let's see what the angle says. 45, let it to 35. There we go. Now I take this line here and parallel it to that CAD line. All right. That's, that's kind of what I in, intended. You might want to do it like that, or it could just go straight across. It depends on the depth of this thing, which is, you know, it's a variable. You can make it deeper if, if you want it. But I think uh, with home design, of course, one of the big powers of uh, Home Designer Pro is that you can manually edit roof planes. And it's a matter of learning how. Uh, we open this up and turn the d dimensions off. Where's the well, where's the checkbox for that? Ah, there's press dimensions. Okay. So anyway, that's my take on how you could solve that. Uh, you can draw also the the bay manually, and uh, if you wanted, like if you if you wanted to, uh, oh, let me show you. I'll just delete this, and uh, we'll. Let's draw a bay on there. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to open that wall up. I goofed the angle up. We'll set the at it uh, minus 35 degrees. <laughs> there we go. Whoops. And this one, let's see what the angle is. I'm opening the tab up and it tells you what the angle is. We want um, 35 degrees. Well, I got it in there, and it seemed to flip that. Yeah, okay. Now we use the wall break tool to break the main wall. Let's say we wanted these walls skinnier than six-inch thick walls. Well, let's just select those three walls. And this is a bit more work, but if you want greater reality, then you just you have to work harder. Uh, we'll go over here to wall types, and I'll put in. Uh, I'm not using siding four anywhere else, so I'm going to put in siding four, and then define siding four and make it skinnier. Let's say instead of three and a half inch thick, we'll set this to uh, two inch. I'm just I'm just demonstrating. And there's your skinnier walls. And then you put your windows in. And there's more to this and so forth. But it's uh, it's another way to do it. And depending on, you know, how you want it to look when you when you get done. Then, of course, you can set the overhang uh, if you want it nice and even. You can set it with the automatic dimensions. Let's see, it's probably 18. Click on the edge and then click on the uh, automatic dimension there. Sometimes you have to zoom in a little closer to get it. Yeah, okay. That's another way to do it, pop the windows in. So that's my, my take on, on bay windows. I, I commonly draw them manually like this myself so I can control them more succinctly. But... Uh, the bay window tool is quicker. It's just not as uh, not as facile and, and customizable. But I've been told that the, the next version of Home Designer is going to have this reworked so it works a bit better than it has worked for every version back to when they started. But we'll see. Thank you.